What's good, YouTube? In today's video, we're going to be ranking the best rookie premier players to build to give you the best head start in Madden 24. I know a lot of you guys like me don't have $15 million to get every single rookie premier player in Madden 23. So I hope this video will help you make the best informed decision. So how this ranking is going to work is that I'm going to rank the offensive positions from one to five and then move to defense one to five. So starting out on the offensive side of the ball at the number five spot, we got running backs and the best running back to pick is Bijan Robinson. I honestly feel like he's the best option. His stats are amazing all across the board, as you can see. 93 catch 98 change of direction 99 truck 99 break tackle so he's definitely a power back that can catch which is really amazing but in madden 24 i don't think you need to go for a running back because they change so frequently and there's definitely better positions out there you should go for so with that being said the position you should go for at the number four spot is tight end and the best tight end in the game is darnell washington this dude is honestly the best tight end by a long shot just because he's six seven and in the early game of madden you want a tall receiver or tight end to head tap those safeties and cornerbacks so he's honestly gonna eat this dude's gonna catch more bodies than your high school thought. i promise you in madden 24 early game he's gonna be a menace to society so definitely pick him up so coming in at the number three spot, I think you guys should go for wide receivers. And honestly, I think the wide receiver selection that we have is not that good in my opinion. But I think the best option is Jonathan Mingo. Just looking at his stats, he's 6'2", 96 speed. For 99, he's kind of slow, but he does have 99 jumping, 99 catch in traffic, 99 spec catch, 96 short and 98 medium and 99 deep route running. So we don't know how this is going to transfer to Madden 24, but he looks like a really promising guy. If you guys want someone with speed in the early game, I would go with Zay Flowers. But if you can pick up both, more power to you because I feel like Zay Flowers might be the fastest receiver starting out day one. And if people don't have rookie premier cornerbacks, you can honestly burn them every play and win mad games online at the start of the season. So now the second most important position to go for is your offensive line. And I know probably you guys are like, nah, I'm not trying to spend 500,000 coins on an offensive lineman, but you might as well do it now because you're not even gonna use these coins ever again. And if you can build your rookie premier offensive lineman that transfers over to Madden 24, you'll be set for a pretty long time. And they honestly have amazing stats. I really like these linemen. And if you honestly need more coins, you should just sell your team. When you sell your team and you get rookie premier players, you're literally getting the players back with two zero AP ability slots. So they're probably better than some of your starters right now. So it's honestly not even like you're wasting your coins. You're really just upgrading them most of the time. Honestly, the only gap in your line would be the left guard because there is no rookie premier left guard. But if the rest of your line is like 86 overall, you should be straight. But if you guys are wondering which right tackle is the best, I would honestly go with Darnell Wright. Most of his stats are above 97 except his awareness. He does also in Madden 23 get 0 AP secure protector, his last two ability slots, and edge protector for 0 AP, and Nashi streak for 0 AP. Alright, so the number one position you should go for on offense is the quarterback position and i'm gonna put a quick disclaimer real quick if you guys have bought the hundred dollar version of madden i'm pretty sure you guys get a free josh allen card so if that's for you then i would say for you guys go get you some linemen to protect josh allen but for those of you that haven't like me get you a quarterback because this dude will carry you through the first month or two of madden and it will honestly be so great just dropping bombs on people and online and the number one quarterback is cj stroud and a lot of people are like will levis he's a strong arm archetype oh he's gonna be the best but cj stroud is honestly a really athletic quarterback and just looking at his stats alone this dude's lowest stat is a 98 in madden 23 this is the best quarterback i've ever used i have this card and he plays amazing just looking at the stats you can see 99 speed 99 throw power you guys can just see the rest there and literally just comparing him to Will Levis, you can just see this dude blows him out of the water like it's not even close. And on top of that, he does get Slinger 1 release, which is the best release in Madden 23. So now for the defensive side of things, coming in at the number 5 spot on defense, we got middle linebackers. And Dorian Williams is the only middle linebacker option. 
and honestly if you guys are trying to strategically get players this dude should literally be your last option like middle linebackers are not good in madden i honestly sub my safeties in for my linebackers so i have better animation and playmaking on the ball so i think this is honestly the worst option you can possibly get so don't even spend your coins on this so then now coming in at the number four spot we got outside linebackers as of right now we got byron young and he honestly looks amazing on paper but i couldn't just pick one linebacker so i had to put him up here so you guys can get him but i think there's one more option better than him which is the left outside linebacker nolan smith and as you can see he has 99 speed 99 acceleration 98 block shed 97 power move and 98 finesse move so this dude is a beast and he gets zero ap edge threat elite and zero ap tackle supreme so those are the two zero ap abilities i would run on him and honestly this would put great pressure on your opponent too so definitely get this guy if you have the coins so then now coming in at the number three spot, we got safeties and the best safety in the game for rookie premieres is Jay Ward and he's 6'1", so he's a pretty tall safety in the backfield. And for his zero AP abilities, he does get deep out zone KO and pick artist for zero AP. So he's definitely gonna be a solid safety in the backfield in Madden 24. He'll definitely have the clampers on and he's a great choice for you guys to pick. So then now coming in at the number two spot, we got the D-line, and they're honestly all good options, like the right end and left end. But if you're restricted by budget and just want to get one person for D-line, I would definitely get Brian Breesey. As you can see, he has great stats. He has 99 strength, 98 acceleration, 99 tackle, 99 block shed. So he's honestly a great option, but you honestly can't go wrong with any of the D-linemen. So lastly, the best position to go for on defense is obviously cornerbacks. And the best cornerback in the game is Julius Brintz. And he's a 6'4 with 99 speed, 99 acceleration, 99 jump, 98 man coverage, and 99 zone coverage. And I picked this dude up in an online. This dude is one of the toughest cornerbacks I've ever put on my team. And definitely recommend that you guys get him. If you guys want to get another one, I'd recommend Christian Gonzalez at 6'2, 99 speed, 99 acceleration pretty much the same thing this dude is stupid fast in real life so he's honestly going to be tough in madden 24 i think the only thing that separates him from brent is literally just his height pretty much but honestly both are great options if i had to give you a rating from 1 to 10 of offense and defense combined at 10 i would have middle linebackers 9 outside linebacker 8 safety 7 running back 6 tight ends 5 wide receiver 4 d linemen 3 cornerbacks 2 linemen and 1 quarterback if you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to hit that subscribe button i come out with the best tips and tricks for madden ultimate team so you don't want to miss out on that and don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and i'll catch you guys in the next one i'm out peace